Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to show you a new free web app that I made that will help you manage your links and bookmarks. Okay, so one of the things I've noticed as I've had more things to manage as the years have gone on is that bookmarks are kind of annoying. So maybe you're like me and you've got a wide variety of devices that you find yourself working on. So for example, I work on like this Mac laptop, I've got a Mac desktop, I've got an iPhone, I've got an iPad, and then I've got a Windows machine. Now on all of those different devices, there's a variety of web browsers that I use. And if you're pretty familiar with bookmarks, which I'm sure you are, every browser kind of has a different way of managing their bookmarks. Now, some of them are starting to come out with syncing services like Apple has iCloud, so you can sync your bookmarks across all your different iOS devices, but what if I'm using Firefox on one of those devices? Or what if I need to switch back and forth between two browsers? Or what if I'm using a Windows machine which doesn't even have Safari, and I'm using Firefox and sometimes Chrome on that device? That means if you wanna be using bookmarks, what you have to do is you have to be essentially replicating all of the bookmarks that you wanna keep on all of these different devices and then trying to keep them in sync and up to date. So that's why I decided to make a new, free, and super simple web app that will help you manage as well as organize all of your bookmarks all in one place and across all of your different devices. And it's called Startboard. But rather than sitting here and trying to describe it to you, let's go ahead and do a quick demo and take a look at what it's like to manage your bookmarks and links with Startboard. Okay, so I just went ahead and created a fresh account here on startboard.so. And as you can see, it's pretty familiar. So you've got the date and time up here at the top, a nice little search bar right here. But other than that, there's not really a whole lot going on. So to start with, let's just go ahead and click add a link. Now let's say we just want to add maybe our favorite YouTube channel. Give it a title. And then the next option we have here is to create something called a board. Now you can think of a board as kind of like a folder or a category. So like for example on Safari you've got that long list of tiles but there's no real organization to it. it with using something like a board we're actually able to organize and kind of categorize the links that we're creating. So if you want to create some for home and some for work and some for you know, a hobby that you have, however you wanna organize and categorize your different bookmarks, this is the way to do it. Okay, so by default, you have one that's called home. So that's gonna be kind of the base or starter board. But what we wanna do is create a new one. We'll just call this one videos. Then we can add a nice little icon that helps us identify this. So we'll go ahead and type YouTube. You see a number of options come up there to select and we click add it. So it's created here, we can see this new little label, which is our board, and it contains that particular link. You can go back to the home screen and you'll see that there's nothing here yet, but we'll add something there a little bit later. Okay, let's go ahead and add the plus button or click the plus button one more time. And let's say that we want to add in something for work. So our work email, for example, and we wanna go ahead and create a new board for this one as well. And we'll just call this work. Add in a nice icon, click add, and there we go. We've created our second board and we've created our second link. Let's go ahead and add one more. Let's say we wanna add in our place of shopping. So we'll go ahead and create new board. We'll just call this one house. Actually, let's do cart, there we go. And now we've added three boards and each of them have one bookmark or one link within them. As you can see, it's very easy to navigate between each of these. We just click to access each of the different boards. And then alternatively, if you prefer more of a list format, you can see those boards here. This actually works really great on a mobile device. So if there's not really enough screen real estate to show all these in a horizontal view, you can see them in a nice list view. And as you can see, you can click to navigate between these just the same. Okay, so let's go back to the work tab and let's go ahead and add one more in here. So I'll add our calendar. There we go, we'll keep it in work. Add a nice icon, there we go, click add. And there we go. So now we have two different links in this particular board. So you'll notice uh, another link that we have up here, a little button we can click, which is the edit icon. So if we're to click the edit icon, you can click this little X to delete any of the bookmarks that you have in here. And you can also just click in the center right here to edit that item as well. So if you're to relocate it or change the icon or rename it or even change the link, you can do that. 
You can also click and drag the top right hand corner to reorder these in any order that you want. And once they all look good, just click the pencil icon again and you're done with editing mode. So one of the items that we also, we kind of glossed over was the search bar. So the search bar has, is a dynamic search bar, kind of has dual functionality. First, it enables you to search through all of the bookmarks that you have in your entire account. So regardless of what board you're currently viewing, you can just start typing. And then as you can see, it searched and it found our work email. So regardless of what board you're in, if you wanna instantly locate one of your bookmarks, you just start typing and you'll find it instantly. Alternatively, you can also use it as your search engine. So just go ahead and hit enter and it's going to search the web for whatever phrase you typed in there. And if we're to click in the top right hand corner, this is gonna show us all the settings. And then you click on options, you can pick and change which specific search engine you would like to use. And feel free to leave me a comment below if there's another search engine that you'd prefer me to add in. I'm a personally a fan of DuckDuckGo. They got some good privacy settings built in. I realize most people probably use Google, so you can also change it to that as well, whichever one you prefer. So with that, let's go ahead and pop back into the settings and you'll see a number of options here. Let's go ahead and click on boards. So if we access boards, this is where we're going to be able to edit each of these items. So for example, if you wanted to rename any of these, if you wanted to delete one, you can do that here. You can click to drag to reorder. So maybe you wanted to rename this to work stuff and change it to the end of the list. We'll click save. And then you see that it has edited the name and it has relocated it in the order of all of our boards. Heading back into settings, we've got another place where we can make some customizations and that's gonna be under styles. So you see here, we have a number of images that you can choose from. So nice little background wallpapers that you could that you can customize your account with. So let's go ahead and pick Brown Mountains and more images will be coming soon. These are just kind of what I've started with. And you can also pick a accent color. So if we wanna change it from the standard green, we can change it to maybe a pink or any of these other colors. And as you can see, our account has changed its style, both its background as well as the accent color. Okay, so once you've gone through and you've set up all your bookmarks, obviously we've only added a small handful here and I'm sure you're gonna have a lot more bookmarks than this. But once you set everything else up, then it's time to set up start board so that it is the start page of whatever browser it is that you're using. And this process is gonna look a little bit different based upon which browser you are using. So right now I'm using Safari on a Mac and all browsers are gonna do this a little bit differently. But what you're going to want to do is if there's an option for you to set your home page, you do want to make sure that you set that to startboard.so. Then if the browser has the ability to do this, because I know not all of them do, you want to make sure that new tabs and new windows all open with that home page. Again, I know that some browsers don't allow you to do this, but I am going to do some videos in the future that shows you how to do it on Chrome and Firefox, and we'll explore some other browsers as well. I'm going to cover all those in this video. I want to keep this a little bit shorter, but be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll go through each of those in their own individual tutorials. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've set that as our start page or our home page. The other thing that I recommend, and again, I think this is specific to Safari, but I think Chrome also has fairly similar functionality. You wanna make sure that you add in the home icon. So it might have already added mine, but you wanna make sure you add that somewhere to the bar or the navigation of your browser so that anytime you need to, you can just go right back to Startboard, which is again, kind of your home base where you start to doing, to accessing all your links as well as searching the web. So again, let's say we've navigated to another page. All we're gonna do is open up a new tab, start typing, and again, we can easily access any of the bookmarks that we want to. Okay, so that's going to work for a desktop device, but it is a little bit different if you're using iOS or Android or some sort of mobile device. Now, at least to my knowledge, from what I've been able to gather, at least for iOS devices, is that you can't really set a home page for Safari. So for example, if you start up Safari, you tap on that icon to launch the app, it's gonna show Safari's built-in base start page. You can't really set a web page to open automatically in Safari, at least as far as I know. What you can do, however, as an alternative, and I believe there's a similar functionality in Android, is you can actually add a web page to your home screen. So what you do is you simply click the share icon or tap the share icon and then you add it to your home screen. First, you wanna maybe rename it to Startboard. 
But then what you'll see is that it has the icon, it's got the name Starboard, and you just add it just like it were a native app to somewhere on your home screen on your device. Then anytime you wanna access the web, rather than just tapping on the Safari or the default browser icon, you just tap on the Startboard icon. And all that's gonna do is it's just going to launch your Safari or default web browser with Startboard activated. So it kind of achieves the same results. And from there, you can go ahead and start typing in what you wanna search for or the particular link you're after or the particular bookmark that you're after. And it's kind of the same functionality that you see on the desktop. And that's it. So feel free to click the link in the description to sign up for your free Startboard account. And if you have any thoughts or feedback for ways that I can make Startboard better, more efficient for everybody to use, feel free to leave me a comment below and I'd be happy to hear from you. Now do note, however, that there is one thing that I'm going to be trying to keep as consistent as I possibly can, which is that I wanna keep Startboard as simple and as clutter-free as possible. I know that a commonality with a lot of web apps that I've started to use over the years is that they just start packing in tons of needless features. I want to try to avoid that with Startboard and keep it very simple, uncluttered, clean, and easy to use. Nevertheless, I am always open to your thoughts and feedback for ways that I can make it better and I do love to hear from you. So as always, if you found this video or Startboard useful, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already to make sure that you don't miss any of the things that I'm making in the future. And I look forward to seeing you in that next video.